I think that uh, there was an initial worry that the tools and the technology for mixing in Dolby Atmos would be a hindrance to the creative process. But actually the tools have been really intuitive. The, the panner is very intuitive. There's some great auto panning functionality in it, which sort of makes sense to me. There's also the fact that the console manufacturers, uh, AMS Neve with the DFC and uh, Avid with the System 5, have really come on board and developed uh, tools within the consoles to deal with Dolby Atmos. So at the moment, the, the technology is actually pretty see-through for us and we're able to just concentrate on the creative process. Mixing Hobbit, we're able to take um, obviously the big effect sequences and move sounds around the audience, really get an immersive feel. But with uh, even with the music, you're able to take the music and bring it around the audience a little more, even using the overheads a little bit, a little bit cautiously, but using the overheads. And the sound of music in the surrounds is now richer than you would have in your standard 5.1 and 7.1 because you have the bass extension in the surround, so it's full frequency. We're also able to take dialogue sequences and sort of pan with confidence because we have that ability to move it into the surrounds, move dialogue without the timbre of the sound changing too much. So uh, a sequence like the Gollum Riddle sequence in the cave where we can make him disappear in the cave and really take him around the audience and above the audience without losing too much definition or character of like his voice and his um, his performance